Google Docs is a cloud-based word processing tool that is offered within Google Apps for Education. In this tutorial, I'll show you some of the basic functions including the toolbar, word processing features, and settings. This tutorial is designed to help students, teachers, and parents alike. So the first thing you want to do when working with Google Docs is to log into your Google Drive and create a document. So to do that, you just click Create and then select Document. Once it loads, you can see a little area here to type in anything that you want. I'll go ahead and put some text in here so we can work with it and I'll show you some of the features and functions. First thing you should know is in order to name a document to give it a title, you'll see up here in the top left corner it says Untitled Document. If you click here it will allow you to rename it. So we'll just call this Tutorial. Moving along, you'll see right underneath that, I'll just go along through the, the toolbar here, you'll see File. Let's click that and I'll show you the options that pop up. First thing you see here is to share, and we've gone over sharing in the Google Drive tutorials. If you'd like to learn more about sharing, you can watch those. But this just allows you to share the document with other people if they need to collaborate and edit the document with you or even just view it. The new function allows you to create out of the documents. You can create a new Google document or spreadsheet or presentation form, any of those. If you click open, it just takes you to a window where you can open any of the files that are within your Google Drive. So it's just another, another way to get to the same thing. Rename also allows you to rename the file. This is a very interesting feature to make a copy like I showed you earlier in the template tutorial for Google Drive, if you make copies of files, it's really helpful in that you can just make one template for your file, and then anytime you need to make that again, you just click Make a Copy, and you can edit that without changing the original version. The Move to Folder allows you to move the documents within Google Drive, so if you want to change where you are keeping your files, you can do that with the Move To folder. Move To Trash just deletes it. Um, I'm going to skip these because I'll go over these in a later tutorial. Uh, they require a little bit more in-depth. Here's a very neat feature in the, the file section to download as. This allows you to download your file that you're working on in multiple formats. You can see here your different options, so depending on how you need to send these files. You can choose those when you download. Publish to Web allows you to make your document uh, web viewable as a website. It will give you a web address that you can link to the document and you can post the link or embed it onto your websites. Email Collaborators is very similar to sharing but it's just a function that allows you to say if you make a change to a file you can email everyone that is has sharing access to the document and that will tell them you know if you want to say hey I updated this to reflect our meeting the other day you could email them and, and say that as well um, in addition with students you could email them as collaborators and they would get a little bit of a message about the assignment one of the last functions in the file setting is email as an attachment I went over this in an earlier setting, but um, when you click it, it'll essentially just make a copy of your file and allow you to email it to anyone as an attachment. The last thing I'm going to talk about down here is the page setup. This is an important one that a lot of students might use. If you click this, you can just see how you want your page set up. If you want to change it to landscape, which is long ways, um, change the margins if you need to. I just keep mine set as one inch default because that is typically the APA format. So I'll go ahead and click OK and you'll see how it changes to landscape now. Moving down the line on the toolbar, we've got the edit function. This just allows you to undo, redo. Um, so if you make a mistake and you want to change it, you can click undo and it will just take it away. Um, and these also show you the keyboard shortcuts for these. So undo is Command Z on a on a Mac. It'd be Control Z on Windows. And that's fairly standard stuff. Cut, copy, and paste. And the web clipboard shows you different things that you've cut or copied. So if 
you need to go back and copy and paste something but you've already copied something else you can view it on the clipboard so it'll show you everything that you've copied next down the line we have the insert function this can be really useful for students and teachers if you want to make your document more vibrant you can add images links um, equations Google drawings which I'll show you in a later tutorial how to create a Google drawing um, and tables I think tables are really helpful if you're making templates for students like for a sign-in sheet or for a list uh, if you're making a having them make a list for collecting new words or things of that nature also in the insert section we have comments you can add comments um, I'll talk about that in the later tutorial as well it's, it takes a little bit to learn that footnotes um, special characters there's all kinds of special characters that you can insert in there if you need certain symbols or things like that horizontal line just breaks the page uh, kind of draws a line right across the page you can add page numbers if you're typing a long document or something for school page break just inserts a break in the page so if you want to finish one page and move on to the next but don't want to hit return 20 times you just have page break and it'll insert a new page for you and header and footer bookmark table of contents we'll leave that for a later tutorial the last one I want to show you is format these just show you some word processing functions um, so there's two ways to do these and I'll, I'll show you the other way next but essentially if you want to make something bold you can just highlight the word that you want to make bold and then select format and bold and that works for every one of these options under the list um, getting down to paragraph styles it comes pre-programmed with lots of different styles you can play around with these and see which ones work best for your purposes align is another tool that's in the um, word processing functions bar this just allows you to move the alignment of your paragraphs left center or right or have everything in the middle line spacing is how you would change it depending on what the teacher wants most teachers like to see things in double space so they can have room to edit in between the lines on the rough drafts and list is just an option that allows you to make a numbered list so I'll show you what that looks like we will do it like this so when we hit enter it'll automatically format it with number two enter again number three going into the formatting section of Google Docs you'll see it looks just like any other word processing software that you've probably used before like Microsoft Office or OpenOffice so those those all look similar if you want to change a word again you just highlight whatever you want to change and then you can make it bold italic underline you can change the color you change the color by clicking the a and then it'll allow you to change the color of the text as well as the background color so if you want it to stand out you can do text color black and then the highlight color yellow if you want to highlight it uh, here's how you insert a link you just click here you would copy the web address and paste it into here and then if you wanted it to say something different so it doesn't show a big three line long web address you can just type in whatever you want it to say like click here to follow the link and let me show you just how these um, alignment ones work so this is left align if we want it to come from the center we type that and everything will go outward from the center if we want it to line up on the right we can do that and this is justified and these are again the bulleted lists so these are just a few of the basic functions of Google Docs. I encourage you to play around with it and test all the functions out and see what works for you. And the more you do it, the better you'll become. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to all of them. Thanks and have a good day.